Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Zorian. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you are new here, I currently work as a certified nursing assistant and a patient care technician. And here on my channel, I document pretty much everything that happens in my life. Lifestyle content, get ready with me, chit chat, advice, you know, and of course, work-related videos. I do Sunday resets and all of that jazz. I aspire to become a travel registered nurse. And so I just try to document and share my journey with you guys. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to subscribe and let's just kick it together. You know, have a good time on my channel. If you aren't new, I have to give you guys life update and everything. That is what this video is going to be about. I definitely have to give you guys just a little bit of, you know, where have I been, what has been happening, you know, things that transpired. I have to loop you guys in and that's what this video is gonna be geared towards. As you can see from the previous clips, a lot of stuff has transpired and so I just need to lay it all on the table and let you guys know where I'm at right now. So of course, let's just get the elephant out of the room. It's the room. So I did actually move into a bigger space, into a different apartment. I'm really, really grateful and really happy because i feel like that has also contributed to my absence off of youtube in a bit because i was kind of you know tired of my space and i just felt as though i got tired of just recording content or the same kind of videos for you guys and honestly i was just working so it's just like that's all that i was doing and there was so much work videos that i could show to you guys you know so it's like i was just really busy and i really don't like putting out unrelated or un i wouldn't say unnecessary content but i would just say like content that i'm not passionate about you know i share my work videos with you guys but it's just like you know <laughs> who wants to just see me at work every single day you know what i mean so it's just like that's that's where i'm at with working what else happened so i moved and you know i always was grateful for my start and you know because it's a privilege and a blessing to be living on my own at such young age i really am proud of myself for where i have come and now i'm in a whole different space and i'm also very grateful again for this new milestone that's just like the elephant in the room i got a bigger space i'm very comfortable girl i'm so happy to show you guys so much things and also this video is going to be showing you guys my process of transforming my room so it's gonna be like a journey so i'm gonna show you guys like where about this from what i did with here you know my thoughts on this blah 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 the clips following this video right now it's going to be showing you guys like an unboxing of some packages that i had gotten and also some items that i purchased for my room and where i got it from so you know i will definitely be giving you guys more life update but it's going to be later in the video for right now um, i'll let you guys see what i got for my room and i'm gonna let you guys continue watching the video so i would just urge you to watch the video in its entirety because i am gonna spilling a lot of tea okay girl you just have to watch it to the end okay so that's that i think that's pretty much it okay don't mind how i'm looking right now the room is in complete disarray right now i'm still unboxing some stuff and i was doing all this unboxing by myself and i said why not show you guys you know how it actually looks so they actually gave me this this is how the outside looks very summery and i think the whole box came into this bag so i am going to turn this into my beach bag because if you see 10 on the time mind your business the first thing that grabbed my attention i think it's some like lip products it's the brand is doll 10 right and this is a lipstick it's in the shade dream sickle so this is how it looks very nice very nice very nice you can come if you want to. hi guys uh, so anyone wanted to say hi then this now is the lip smoothie it's like a lip gloss 
right it's in the shade very bliss i put it on my lips currently if you see me looking up or like that it's because the mirror is in front of me so i'm kind of getting used to the back camera so yeah forgive me then no this is another lipstick it is in the shade very delicious very delicious and they're all by the brand doll 10 heritage it's a purple conditioner i've heard about this as well it's really nice i don't know what this is i think this is just like a body body splash or a body mist oh this olaplex you know so you can't buy nothing olaplex it's always 30 dollars and up so for me to get a whole bond maintenance clarifying shampoo at this size for free okay i love that then this no even my mother getting gift out of this this is like an eye repair an advanced night repair eye supercharged gel cream this is also very nice so she can get this i don't think i have terrible bags or maybe i need it hmm what if i should take back the gift from mommy i'll find something else to give her in the box <laughs> i'm kind of getting old with my eye what? and it's so chic like i just love this whoever packed this box they came out because i'm telling you like look at this look look right nice oh my jesus i love this it's so cute it's are you seeing the little gold detailing around it i love this and it's mm, this smell like some nice old rich people scents you know when you're gonna, you're gonna run rich old people yeah anyways this is a grooming hair gel grooming cream so i think it's like jam or something like of that sort it's kind of putty you know me Ooh, this is she mm, this is smell bad this is smell bad it smells like an actual cologne i'm gonna be doing like a whole transformation of my room as well so don't mind how it's looking i'm really just packing on my vanity oh i finally found my favorite thing the clay mask oh my goodness Apart from the Aztec clay mask, that is the one that you have to mix. I always wanted a clay mask that can just put on my face like this because I will be doing skincare and I feel like you guys will be seeing me use this. I absolutely love clay masks and I never had one that actually is already made. I always use the Aztec one, the powdered one. So this is my favorite. And my tongue is full. I don't know how to act. You would think that I'm not used to anything because of how I'm acting. But this is free stuff. If you know how self-care stuff is expensive, you'd really appreciate all of this because trust me, it's over 10 items in here and it's good quality, everything. Because right now I still have one lip gloss and my lips are very moisturized. Moving on, this is the Vega More. It's a shampoo, I believe. This is what? A moisturizer. I need a moisturizer. Even though I recently bought this and I'm going to be sharing my updated skincare routine with you guys really soon. But for now, I'm going to start using this and I may add this when i'm going out in the daytime because it does have broad spectrum sunscreen what else is a delicia drench body butter oh my god it smells so good those are my favorite i love the body butter and i absolutely love the clay mask oh my gosh i got another mask shut up this is the Quidad, the Curl Expert. I think that's the brand. And I think this is a glossy treatment mask. Add shine and enhance vibrancy, moisturize, dry, dull color. So this is like a hair mask. Gotcha. This is just like a little travel size cocoa butter formula. I love this. So, you know, your foot back oily, even when I'm going to the, the beach. You want your foot looking dry and cracked in your photo. So you just have a little like this. Yeah. This now is going to be a Electrify Paris Hilton sample spray yeah let me smell her what like all of this what guys all right i don't have nothing to say i don't have any oh, jesus christ it fell but i don't have anything to say about that because that smells so freaking good this now is going to be a hand wash it's a moisturizing hand wash so you see like oh not in another bathroom now i'm gonna kindly put this in there all right mm -hmm. yeah right let's show you guys this i'm a sucker for my hair and skin so for me to get a whole face mask or hair mask yeah i think i showed you guys everything should i do some more unboxing with you guys because i'm currently doing unboxing right now so should i continue give me one second curtains that i'm currently going to put up right now in my room 
but it was hard to actually find a color scheme that will go well with everything because the paint is now i would say this is what beige or kind of like off white and then i have white furniture i wanted to just re repurchase new furniture but i'm like it's kind of a waste of money and i'm not yet ready to live into my house i feel like when i'm gonna be living into my house i will switch these out and you know give these to like my child or probably send it to my sister and you know give it to them so that they can have it because it's i try to take care of everything so that it can be passed down but yeah these are some good quality drapes from the one and only Shein. So I decided that I'm going to do a theme shades of brown or gold or something like that. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say gold. I would say brown. So now I have this sheet. And also shades of brown in there with a touch of white as well. Purchased this off of Amazon. This was fifty one dollars, but it was really perfect for me because I this is the color scheme that I really want. I wanted a shade of brown, olive green tan beige and white and a streak of gold so i know that this was my perfect base should in case i want to switch it up and keep just a white and you know a clean look and less of a brown this is perfect so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and add this around here this is another package this is from i think sheen because when i was ordering this stuff i mainly was getting everything from amazon but then amazon was too costly like at the end of the day I'm just a girl and yes i want to change over my room but ain't nobody gonna spend over no ma'am looks like i just want something coming on this side something else oh this look like a scam hold on this is supposed to be a duvet keen on a teeth go with this man what kind of duvet cover is this this flat this look like a flat sheet my god it's a flat sheet people don't order it off of sheen because it's not puffy it's definitely not giving that of the look it's not giving the comforter look so what i'm probably going to do is i'm gonna make my bed with it as well and see how it turns out but yeah mm -mm. i'm a little disappointed with this but i think it would still look nice then i got the pompous pompous that's why i said pompous pompous grass but I don't understand if she. Oh no no, this is a mat. That got she. Why it, it look like me? I regret other from it so. Man, no. Got this a mat. It look like it's gonna give me. No, I don't know if I'm gonna love this mat. This mat look a bit dead. Let me see. Well, la la. Maybe it can come to life. What wanna think? I think this is for me. I wanted a cover up. I think this is mine. I wanted another cover up. A cover up. Let me see how it fits. It holds on holds on because i want it to be grabbing and i'm giving you know mature modest vibes yes baby yes honey yes sweetie this is me this is her i'm so happy this came so nice i love it it's so durable then the last thing i got jesus have mercy people mighty god sheen i forgot home for this jesus have mercy guys look on the pampas Jesus got the pompas, them look dead. No. Sheen. No. Sheen. Jesus gosh. Sheen. I think they rough. This is this is ridiculous. People look on the pompas grass. But them say 10 pieces. Jesus have mercy. But you know, look somebody know because they open it up. But come on, man. Mm -mm. Them stay. I'm gonna do so. What is what is this? I should have prayed over this because my skin is scratching me. What is this? Mm. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I probably have to just put this outside or at the doorway. What is this? This I give me an edit. It's stink. But wow, it's so pretty. You see this and the back? Yeah, I do. I'm, I'm probably gonna keep it and put it into a smaller vase and put it somewhere else. If I keep this this after sun outside and then spray it with somebody's splash guys. This too stink. This literally smell like fish. This now, I was trying to be cheap and go get my uh, blanket, my throw blanket from Shein because Amazon 
also was a bit too pricey and i don't think i regret because this is now this you did not come back with this one minus some little bed bug i want to know care if come sheen what's that biting it this is so nice this is so nice this is so nice i like the chocolate so you see what i'm trying to do now so because i have like tans and beige and those you know little soft brown i'm gonna add my deep chocolate to this and this is just gonna be my throw blanket talk to me i feel so good quality is so nice i'm gonna close this off and call my my man <laughs> guys i just got back from the hair salon if you guys can't already tell yesterday i was looking really crazy and a hot mess so i'm loving my hair and whatnot i went and got a relaxer we did some work in the back i put up the curtains last night and they're a bit short though so i'm not sure if i'm going to keep them as is i love my hair love how everything turned out and i'm gonna prop these up higher i'm gonna have babe drill them in the wall i can't do that with what i have but for right now i think i'm gonna go ahead and do a little skincare because like i said my face is not the best but it's not nothing that i really can control it's like eczema you see that lighter shade oh my god i hate it i look like a i think you guys can tell what i look like but i don't really like it but i know that in the winter time when it gets cooler it's going to be a little bit the lighter spot is gonna be at bay but i think it's becoming irritated all right let's not have ye everybody staring at my face right now because i'm just cringing but i'm gonna i think i'm gonna try the clay mask that i got last night in my package so i don't know for who skipped it out and didn't watch everything i got a clay mask um so i'm gonna go ahead and try it out now this is it this is her this is she i'm gonna go ahead and put that on my face and then i'm gonna get back to what i was doing yesterday just unboxing some of the clothes well most of the clothes because i still have another furniture to purchase for my clothes i'm just gonna wash my face and then apply this mask that's it i'm about to go and wash the mask off i'm not going to show you guys me unboxing the clothes or packing away the clothes only because i have it in several boxes several bags and i'm stopping every minute and it's just like it makes no sense and i want to be on my phone so it's just like what's the point i'll try to finish the shopping on tuesday so i'm gonna meet up with her and we're gonna do some shopping and then we're gonna spend the rest of the day together because it's gonna be her birthday and so on so probably that's the next time we're gonna see me should i do the when should i do the life update now would be a perfect time to do it should i just do it but i have a freaking mask on my face <laughs> i can't even laugh so i feel like i'm going to just record the life update another time and then i'm gonna insert it or something okay so you guys could see that i was kind of deciding if i wanted to do the life update today or you know you could see i did decide to record the video another day and just insert it here so here i am and i'm gonna continue with the life update so basically i was saying in the beginning of the video that i did move into a bigger space and that i was grateful to have the privilege to move at a young age and i'm now able to move again on my own and it's just really fulfilling and i am just very grateful and so forth but let me just say guys i did not know that moving was gonna be this hard because it took a lot like when i'm telling you that i had to be meeting up with realtors i had to be filling out documents this that the third i was stressed out i was so stressed i was just like what next you know sometimes i had to be viewing houses and i'm like uh there's just one problem that makes me not like the house and i'm just like oh my god because i'm trying to find something that i could work with and call my home for some time so it's just like oh my goodness 
do I want to do this or not? Do I just want to stay where I'm at? But I'm like, you know what? No, I have to elevate. I'm this type of person that I just like to grow. I cannot stay one place for too long. No matter how, how much work I have to put in to get to the next, I would rather doing that than knowing that I'm doing one thing for years and years and years and years. I don't do that. So I had to move, even though it wasn't like a problem with, you know, my landlord and everything it was very good like i said it was a very good start for me and i couldn't have wanted it any other way because it it really made me into the woman that i am now for me to be able to go and comfortably say i could pay my rent on time and i you know i learned a lot while just living alone and it's just like lesson learned okay that's the aspect with moving i did move in august so it's not too far of an update i just moved okay so Let's go back a little bit because that's where it all started. Around May, I decided that I wanted to go back to school. You know me, again, again, I'm gonna do another course. One thing about it, I'm gonna be doing another course. And so I decided that I wanted to do the EKG and the phlebotomy course. It was somewhat last minute, but not really, if that makes sense, because I, want, I knew I wanted to do it, but then I didn't know when I was really gonna start, like, oh, next week. And it's like it happened so fast where i ended up starting next week and like i'm talking about months ago now right but i started and it was just like oh my gosh i really started this class and so listen that would have meant that i went to class from 9 to 1 p.m 9 a.m to 1 p.m and then sat at a park <laughs> i sat at a park for about an hour no two hours until it was time to clock in because I start working 3 to 11. So it's like, girl, I've been up since 7 every day till 11 every single day. And it's just like so tiring because I, in between my shifts, I had to work. I had assignments, you know. I had a life. I had to do laundry, cook, you know, still look presentable, you know, all them stuff. So it's just like, hello. It was really, you know taking a toll on me mentally but I had the bigger picture ahead of me and I had a very good teacher it was a different school that I did my CNA license from so I went to a whole different school closer to my job and everything so it was really convenient and it was really smooth we got through the the period you know very good and very quickly and I passed I did very good on my classes and my tests and everything I passed all my my, my, my test and everything I'm very grateful because I do enjoy going to school and you know challenging myself with tests and studying and all that jazz okay so that's something I enjoy and like I said I love growth so anywhere that I know that I'm gonna achieve something more I am very comfortable or content with that so I did add on a few more achievements and certifications to my resume and I'm happy about that and that's how I'm now able to pull a new job okay so that's also another update i did quit my job i gave them my two weeks and be like i must say that leaving my old job is kind of sad because i did grow connections with a lot of persons if you follow me on instagram you'd see that i have a connection with my patients and it's like i literally cry with them like i be bawling out my eyes with these people and i said so it's like they're like my grandma they're like my mom they're like my auntie you know it's just like and when they pass it's just like even worse so i did get a few gifts and stuff for them and i cried with them of course and just like thinking that i'm not gonna be there anymore you know really sucks but i plan to call them i plan to visit them i plan to do all of that jazz but i just have to grow and it's time for me to elevate and move on and the facility that i was at it was not no it did not make any sense whatsoever but like i say i'm always grateful for my start because having a start is very important today is my first day off after you know quitting so i feel good look at no just look at me i look so new i look nice i look i look like this was the life i should have been living before my tattoos all right so i did quit my job and today actually in the real time I actually went and got another interview done today as well so of course I have an upcoming job I have an orientation next week but just know that I didn't just quit and not have something I did quit and I'm going into another nursing home and hopefully a hospital as well so it, it depends on who I accept because I did get all those job offers it's up to me if I make the decision of saying you know what I'm going to actually 
work the both jobs or just work at a nursing home or just work at a hospital it all depends what i decide to do in the long run so i'm gonna have another video coming out after this that will tell you guys what i decided to do if i am going to be working where and when okay okay so i did school i did the move got a new job so another video will be showing you guys what the process is like with preparing for my new job and just like unwinding and stuff like that so that's a video to come and you guys will see all of that process there really isn't a lot a lot because that's all that took up most of my time i honestly could not record videos while going to class and school and then i just feel like you guys were getting bored of seeing the same thing even though i'm so grateful thank you jesus that i hit literally literally sixteen thousand views on my video that is surreal to me because you know just having 10 people just watching you and you know engaging with you is nice a hundred is even nicer and then a thousand sixteen thousand yeah that's crazy so i'm very you know grateful that my video was able to reach across you know various people and to make impacts on them positively and i'm just hoping to continue to grow with the help of you guys to share and comment and subscribe that will help me to grow and so forth but i'm just very grateful because that video i would have never expected it to bloom like that you know sometimes videos sometimes you post videos and we're expecting it to grow and it does not grow the right way and the ones that you least expect that's gonna grow that's the one that takes off right so enough about that my christian life or my spiritual journey i have been struggling a little bit with just like my spirituality and just like trying to find a connection i think it was in july that i had spoken with my pastor and told him that i wanted to recommit my life and because i was once a christian like you know baptized and everything and i was just like letting him know that i wanted to make that big step and so forth but then it's still like i know that there are a lot of stuff that's happening in my life that's changing in my life that is kind of you know hinging on my decision and i don't want to be in and out like what happened and i know it will never be perfect but i still don't want to feel like i don't know what i want i i know what i want and i know how it's gonna take or what is it what it's going to take for me to get there and so i feel as though it's best for me to start slow i feel like sometimes people don't understand that rushing is never the right thing or just doing it and taking no this is not what i'm just gonna do no i don't care i'm not gonna just jump in and do it because i feel like i've done that before and it didn't get me far and i don't want to feel like i'm joking about this and you know so i feel like and then also i don't want it to feel overwhelming you know what i mean i feel like I want to gradually change i don't want to be like oh hey guys call me deacon rob no you know what i mean i just i want you guys to even see the growth i want you to say like oh my gosh i can see what you're changing with this and you know stuff like that i don't want it to be a case where i change overnight or i feel like i change overnight i don't want that i want to feel like i grew in christ and i grew in my faith and just into a better person into a woman that i want to become you know what i mean and i don't think i have to rush that i think that it's good that i accepted to know that i want him to be my savior and stuff like that but i don't need to rush it to make someone else feel good or to make myself look good no because at the end of the day religion is real and and the spiritual warfare that you're gonna encounter is also real so it makes no sense i come and brag and boast and say oh yes i'm a christian and blah 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 and then I know that i'm not living the right way you know what i mean so i know my life and i know what i have to do to get right and i just want to share with you guys that that has been on my mind and that has been a part of my journey like i said i had that conversation with my pastor in july and we're now going into september tomorrow and i've just tried to you know pray a little bit more you know use less expletives you know just baby steps baby steps and i feel like that's good so when i'm ready to make my big move then i could be like yes zorin you are ready you know what i mean right but anyways i think that's it with the life update because 
some things I'm not going to disclose. I feel like it's obvious. If you want to ask, then you could be sure to ask me. But it's not everything I'm going to be like, oh, attention. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? So if you ask certain questions, I won't shy away from it. But I just, maybe you could DM me or you leave me a comment, stuff like that. Then I will be sure to answer your question. But not everything I'm just going to put out there and just speak it out. You know what I mean? But I think that's it for now. I've been trying to plan this life update to make sure that I included everything. But I don't want this video to be long as well either. So I think that's it. I think that's it. I talked about moving. I talked about my school life. I talked about my work life. I talked about my personal life, my spiritual life. And yeah, I think that's what really happened. And, and I'm just happy that I'm back here on my channel, period. So go on and enjoy the rest of the video. And if you made it thus far, comment some pink hearts or some pink emojis. And I'll see you guys in my other clips. I blew it all on her, I got it right back She blew it all on me, I couldn't fight that She love when I but only when it's tied back You know it's hard to get about it, I can sidetrack Shake something, left, right, control it You know who to call if you're horny Ride on it, green light me Green light, green light Tell your friends that you believe in this But I know that you can't I've been in your plans when you're about to get nasty Better hold up them glasses So it's too hot, not to fuck it up It's a mood right, is it ready? I don't know what I should get. I got a plant, right? But they did not give it to me with any vase. So now I'm wondering if I should get this one, this one, or this one. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Oh, this would work perfect for the room because the room is like a little tan color or beige. Hmm. Yikes. I really feel like I'm gonna get this. I don't I like this the least. I not I don't really like this. This is what caught my eyes first because I love the little thing. But I may get this only because it kinda pops. Why should I zoom so stressed out? <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, but this is, it's only one left. So maybe I should get it. And it will kind of complement the room. Yeah, I think I might get that. Maybe I should get this. Oh my god, decisions. I'm gonna call my mom. I'm really gonna call my mom. Oh, I definitely need to get this. The fake stones. Yep, I'm gonna get this because... I, oh, dang, it's heavy. <laughs> oh, dang, it's heavy. I'm gonna get this because I need it to go fully down into what I'm gonna get. So, perfect. That's what I'm gonna do. Should I get these or should I get this? I don't know. I feel like I should get this because it's, it's gonna hold it more. So, I'm gonna get this. Definitely perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't need no more freaking pajamas, but isn't this so stinking cute? This is so freaking cute. And of course, I'm stocking up on some emergency and Clorox wipes. So yeah, I'm going to let you guys know which one I end up getting. But for now, I'm stuck with this smaller, the pebbles, and then I'm going to get this. okay guys so i just got done with you know all the work and the new packages that came today and i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how the room looks or just like the update of how the room is looking right now and then head on to bed i'm exhausted uh the next time you should see the room it's in its full effect and i think that would probably close this video out so if you guys don't hear from me again i thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed my return video back on youtube be sure to subscribe like and comment 
and I will definitely see you guys in my other uploads to come. I love you. If you got it, it ain't a question. Oh, it ain't no more forgetting. No more than emotionally invested. Showing you all my imperfections. Oh, if I let you take me for granted. Yeah, love. If I work more than you could manage. Then it's yeah. Someone without me and who I fire, I get what I desire, it's my empire, and yes I call the shots, I am the umpire.